In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can start dropshipping using Alibaba.com. So I'll be showing you how you can connect your Shopify store to your Alibaba.com account, how you can sync products from Alibaba.com to your Shopify store, and how you can manage and automate the order fulfillment process. Now you might be thinking, isn't Alibaba.com just for purchasing in bulk? Well, that's not true anymore with Alibaba.com's dropshipping center. Now let me go over a few reasons why you might want to actually use Alibaba.com to start dropshipping. Now the first reason is the price. So sometimes you might want to dropship a product from AliExpress, but you can actually find it cheaper on Alibaba.com. So if I show you this example here, we can see that we have this product, this 360 selfie stick, and you can see that the brand is Usam's. Now you can see with free shipping to the UK, it's £32. Now the exact same product, so if we click on this, you can see this is Usam's again, and this is on Alibaba.com, and you can see shipping with shipping to the UK, it's $28.80. And if we just convert that over, that's £25.50. So on Alibaba.com, it's going to cost you £25.50. On AliExpress, it's going to cost you £32. So that's a massive £6.50 difference. Now, if you think about that over 100 orders, that's £650, which is a big chunk of profit. So that's the first reason why you might want to have a look on Alibaba.com when it comes to starting dropshipping and looking for dropshipping suppliers. The second reason is product selection. If you can't find find a product that you want to dropship on AliExpress, you might be able to find it on Alibaba.com. They have a wide selection of products that you can dropship. And if you are dropshipping using a different supplier, it means that the product might be less saturated, meaning you'll have less competition when it actually comes to dropshipping the product, which makes it easier to actually make sales. And the final reason is a lot of the general public now know about AliExpress. So if they see a product, they, they can sometimes just go over to AliExpress and see if they can find it cheaper. Whereas the general perception of Alibaba.com is that it's still for businesses and it, that it is still for buying in bulk. So a lot of people won't actually go and check over there, which once again makes it easier for you to make sales. So let's actually get started with how you can use Alibaba.com to start dropshipping. So the first thing you are going to do is just head over to dropshipping.alibaba.com. I will leave a link in the description. And from here, you are going to create an account. So where it says sign in, we are going to right click on this and I'm just going to open this in a new tab. Once you've clicked on this, you are going to click on join for free and then you are just going to fill out this information. So your email address, your mobile number, company name, full name and company address. Once you have entered this information in, you can just click on agree and register. They will then ask you to verify your email address with a code that they have sent to you. So just enter in that code and hit submit. Once you do that, you will be brought back to the Alibaba dot com dropshipping center so it should look a little something like this now the first thing you are going to do is connect your shopify store to your alibaba.com dropshipping account so up the top here we are going to click on this menu and we're going to scroll down and we are going to click on my store from here we are going to add our shopify store so we are going to click on add store and then you can go and enter in the url of your store when you are entering in your store url just remember to remove the HTTPS and double slashes because sometimes Alibaba can't recognize it. So it should just be the name of your Shopify store and then you can click on add store. You will then be asked to log in to your Shopify store. And once you have logged into your Shopify store, it will bring you to a page like this that says install the Alibaba app. So we are gonna install the dropshipping on alibaba.com app. So just click on install app. Once you have installed the app, you will see your store under store management. So that means your store is connected now. So the next thing that you can go and do is to sync a product from alibaba.com to your Shopify store. So in order to do this, you can click on search products. From here, you can search for any products that you want to start dropshipping and importing to your Shopify store. So I'm just gonna go and search for a tracking selfie stick and click search. And I'm gonna go for this first product here. So we are gonna click on this product. And from here, what you can do is you can click on add to import list. It will then say import completed. So then you can click on go to import list. From the import list, you can edit the product further before you push it to your Shopify store. So if we scroll down and click on this pencil icon, you can go and edit the product name, add some product tags, choose the product type, and also choose a collection from your Shopify store. So you can see I've called this the Pivot Pod. So if we go and copy this, 
I can go and enter this into the product name. You can also go and choose a collection. So I'm just gonna go and choose the homepage. You can also go and edit the description. So you can go and make sure that it matches the description on your actual store. So I'm just gonna go and copy this description and you can go and edit all of this. So I'm just gonna delete all of this because this is information that comes directly from Alibaba. So it might look a little bit weird on your Shopify store. So I recommend to rewrite the product description completely. So we're just gonna go for this for now. But as I say, you can go and rewrite your product description. Then you have the variance. So you can go and choose the variance. And from here, you can actually go and choose the price that you want to sell it at. And it will tell you the profit. Now, of course, I recommend to go and round your prices to the closest 99. So you can see on here, it's 139.99 so i can go and enter that in here 139.99 and then it's going to tell me my profit which is 113 pounds and 60 pence so now that you have gone and done that you can then just go to the images and you can go and delete any of the images that you don't want so you can just untick them if you don't want to use these images so you can simply untick them like that. So once you have gone and edited all of that information, then you can simply just click on push to store. And then it will say push succeeded. So once you have gone and done that, you can go to my products and then you should see that the product has been pushed to your Shopify store. Now you can actually go and view the product in your Shopify store now. So if you click on view in store and from here you can see the product that has been pushed. Now from here you can also go and edit the product further. So again, if you want to go and edit the product description or any of the images, you can go and do this from your Shopify dashboard as well. So now that I've shown you how you can go and sync products, the next thing I want to show you is how you can fulfill orders automatically using alibaba.com. So once somebody does make an order on your Shopify store, you can go to orders and you will see all of your orders. So once you see an order here, you can then head over to your alibaba.com dropshipping center and then you can click on my orders. From here, you will see all of the orders that have come through from your Shopify store and you can go and simply fulfill these orders. So you can click on this to go and click on a batch order if you have multiple different orders and then you can simply click on batch order and pay for all of the orders at once or you can go and order them individually. Now, some might say shipping info incomplete. So if we actually click on this, we can click on fix now and it's gonna bring up the shipping info and the reason it's saying incomplete is because the customer hasn't entered in their phone number. Now that's fine, you can simply just enter in your own phone number and then you will receive updates about the order from alibaba.com to your phone. So you can simply just go and enter in a phone number in here, for example, and then you can click on submit. So once you have entered in that phone number, we can now see that it doesn't say shipping info incomplete. So that's the same for this one. Now, another thing to bear in mind when you are fulfilling orders with alibaba.com is just to go and make sure that you are choosing the right shipping method. So if you click on this, you will see multiple different shipping methods. So you can see for this one, it's saying 12 to 17 days, but if we just go and pay $2 extra, we can get it in six to 10 working days. So you might want to go and do that. So for example, if I go and choose this, we can see it gets a little bit more expensive, but it's gonna get to the customer in a much quicker time. So once you have done that, like I say, you can click on batch order and you can go and order all of these products at once. So you will see that it says success, all orders have been placed. And then from there, all you need to do is just click on pay to actually pay for the order. But again, if you do want to fulfill orders individually, you can then just click on order and it will order that product as well, the same way that I just done with a batch order. Now, one last thing to mention is what you'll want to do is with your alibaba.com dropshipping center, just click on synchronize every day so that it synchronizes all of the orders from your Shopify store. So you will see synchronization succeeded, which means that all of the orders have come through from your Shopify store. So that is how you can start dropshipping using alibaba.com. And if you do want to learn how to build a beautifully branded one product dropshipping store, then I recommend that you check out the free course that I have released here on YouTube. I'll leave the video on screen now and I'll leave a link to it in the description below and make sure to subscribe to the channel for more dropshipping and e-commerce content and hopefully I'll see you in the next video.